Romans chapter 6, verses 5. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Which is funny, I just got through reading this very chapter. And it'll, and it's very, very interesting how he talks about, you know, the whole thing, sin and death, and how we are buried with Jesus in, in, in water baptism, and how, you know, um, you know, and how we are buried, how we are to die to our sins. I mean, the whole chapter is very interesting. I mean, and like I said, I just got through reading it. And he said, we are planted together in the likeness of his death in water baptism. And we should be also in, the, in his likeness in the resurrection in the Holy Ghost. We are in his likeness. You know, we, are, we take on his image. You know, we, you know, Jesus needs to see us. He needs to see him in us. I'm sorry. He needs to see himself, his reflection in us. You know, and so, and the whole chapter really is like, is, is talking about, you know, even, even once you sin, you know, we can't go on, uh, once we got the Holy Ghost, sorry, we can't go on living life as usual. We got to die to the sin. We can't just keep sinning and, and, and though we got the Holy Ghost, think we got it made in the shade. You know, we, 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 you know, we got to live the life. We got to, you know, walk in faith. We got to just live it out, you know, because we got the Holy Ghost. doesn't mean we can keep on sinning. And a lot of people think, oh, yeah, we can keep sinning. God's going to forgive us. No, 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 no. You know, after a while, there's, it, the Bible says there's no more sacrifices. So we got to learn to walk, you know, you know. You see, you, you're going you're gonna to obey one or the other. Either you're going to yield to God or you're going to yield to your flesh. But so, and, and then the whole, like I said, read the whole chapter. It's very interesting.